tutorial I will be showing you how you can connect uh, Node.js to P uh, PHP my admin. So now there's two ways that you could accomplish that, okay? One of them is you can download something called exam, okay? Um, and that comes with pre-installed um, for PHP my admin. Or you could go ahead and use something called, uh, or you can just download P, uh, PHP My Admin for phpmyadmin.net, and you can run it in your computer, whichever you like. Um, but you know, I have Exam downloaded, so I'm just going to go with that. So if you're in an M1 computer, it is uh, quite difficult to get PHP My, um, I mean Exam on your computer if you have an Apple Silicon, um, because it's really not optimized for it, but you know you can still download it. Um, not sure how I did it, but you. I think I think I did it through a YouTube video. So um, if you type how to download uh, exam um, for Apple Silicon, um, you can see how they how other people uh, do it. So now after you download it, you're gonna cl click on Manage Servers and you're gonna run all the servers right here. Okay, you can you can run them individually on whatever you're using okay or you can run them all in once which which is what I do there's all uh, something else called server events which uh, which you can see all the server events like in any error or logs or you can pretty much see what's happening with their servers okay so it's it's pretty much a log so it's really good so now after you have everything you're going to go to uh, after you run exam you're gonna go to localhost it's gonna take you somewhere right here. You're gonna click on PHP my admin. <clears throat> so now, after you, uh, now after you're in PHP my admin, you're gonna click on new. We're gonna create a database right here, okay? And for the database name, I'll just name this Node Test, okay? Not just test. We're gonna click on create. From here, you're gonna create a table inside of that database. This table can be anything, but I'm just gonna name this user info, and I'm gonna have two columns. Okay, like I said, I'm trying to keep things simple here. Um, so I'm not, I'm not gonna enter any actual data. They're just gonna be demo or dummy data. Um, and you're, I'm gonna click on go. Now I'm gonna keep all the information as an integer, but you know you can change them to a text or a date, a word chart. So um, you can do whatever you like. Um, as a name, uh, for, for this we'll do H, and for this we'll do uh, zip code, okay? So there's still an H and a zip code, and they're both integer. You can change them to your text, really up to you, but I'm really not going to deal with that. I'm just going to click on save. Now after we save it, we're going to click on insert. We're going to insert data. So let's enter like 25 for the age, and let's enter like, let me see, random zip code. Okay, let's see. Random zip codes. Okay. Okay. I don't know where this is, but we're just gonna copy that random zip code and we're gonna paste it in here, okay? So we have an age of 25 and a zip code. Like I said, they're all dummy data. You can enter actual data if you want. After that, you're gonna click on uh, go right here. And that's going to show you a query saying, hey, this is how it will look like. Are you good with it? Actually, wow. Okay, I misspelled zip code, but that's fine. That's fine, right? That's fine. Um, so, uh, age and a zip code, and these are the values. And if we're good with that, you're just going to click on go right here. And it says one row inserted and query took 0 0.016 seconds. So, you can always you can also create a PHP code if you click on right here. I'll show you the query in PHP. You can do without PHP code or submit query, whatever you like. So after that, you're going to after you're done with that, you're gonna go into your VS Code or whichever whichever uh, uh, the uh, text editor you're using, and you're gonna create a Node uh, application. And for that, you can do Node in it. Why? Hold on. Did I do wrong? Node in it. Why wasn't? Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. It was npm in it. Why? I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay. You're good. And then after that, what you're gonna do is, uh, well, okay, let me tell this. So you can create the file name whatever you like. Okay, it can be anything you want. But if you create a name outside of this main inside of, so if you go to package.json, you're gonna see this main. Okay. So you need to create a file called 
index.js. But if you don't want to, you can create another file and enter the name of that file. Let's do rather than index, let's do app.js. And if you go here, you can you have to change this to app.js. But I'll just keep it as it was, so I'll just change it to uh, index.js, okay? Just so that you know, keep it everything just to keep everything simple, okay? So after that, um, we have to download a couple. Well, we have to download something. It's npm uh, i uh, mysql. Okay, so we're gonna download a uh, library called mysql. Okay. Okay, so now people who know Node.js, we're gonna going to go. We're going to import mysql, and the way you do that is simple. You can do var my, uh, oops var mysql equals require. Okay, mysql. Okay. So, um, if you have, if you know some uh, Node.js, um, this is how you import stuff. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and create a connection, meaning we're just going to import or enter or um, database connection info. Uh, simple. Uh, var connection equals uh, mysql dot create connection. You're going to be a host. And in this case, our local local uh, host is or local host. Um, we're gonna enter root, which is usually root. Um, you're gonna enter password. Okay, so password is usually um, null if you're working locally. So which in get in this case we are working locally, so it's gonna be null. Um, and database is going to be our database that we created, which is no test. Okay. So, um, okay, and I'll explain the code, what we did, okay? Now we have everything, we're going to go ahead and connect this, okay? Connection, okay, right here, dot connect, okay? We're going to, take a, uh, we're going to create a function and error, okay? We're going to check if, if, in case we get an error, we want to console.log it, right? So we can, for that, we can do console.log, um, error.code, um, console.log, error.fatal. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and create a query. And for this, what I like to do is there's two ways that you could do this. You could e either do it like this, or you can do like money sign query equals select star from. Okay, um, and in this sort of case, our table name is user info. User info. Okay, and you're going to do connection dot query going to do the money sign query as well as the function it's going to take two things okay an error rows fields okay okay let me see what I did wrong here oh I see why okay <laughs> okay so then we're gonna check in, in do, do, um, do we have an error okay I need to make sure that we don't have anything um, and we can do an uh, endless app an error uh, cured with the query or performing the query doesn't matter and in that case we just want to do a return right here else then you know well we don't we, we don't need to t uh, type else you can just type outside of the if statement um, you're going to do console.log uh, query successfully uh, execute I feel like I spelled successfully wrong but never mind that's fine and rows we're gonna go ahead and print out the rows and that's gonna be it and lastly, you want to end your connection, okay? And the way you did it is simple connection that end um, function, okay? And you don't need to do anything, but I'll just go ahead and type console.log connection closed, okay? Simple enough. About like 30 lines of code, you can just simply connect to PHP my admin. So let's do node index.js right there, okay? Uh, query success successfully executed. Okay, H25, the zip code is that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and explain over the code real quick. I'm, I'm, go I'm going to keep this simple. Uh, we downloaded uh, my downloaded MySQL library. Um, then we created a connection. We entered our connection info, such as the host, the user, uh, the password, and the database, okay? And the password, hold on, let me do this. Password is null if you are working locally, okay? Um, because I really, there, I feel like password is important because I really don't want you guys, you know, searching for the password like 30 minutes. Um, so, um, just 
entering that so that you know people who skipped over the video um, see it. Then you're going to uh, do connection that connect. Okay, the the reason why we're doing an if statement here is to check if, um, if we get an error while we're trying to connect. If we are, we have we we'll get the the code and the fatal. Okay. Okay. So then we go. Okay. Then we create a query. Um, and we select from the user's table and like I'm, I'm not a SQL expert but what this query does is just returns everything from the users user info okay and we do connection that query we pass a query that we just created and there's three things error rows and fields we check um, is there's a problem with the query uh, if there is we just return if not then we just go ahead and console.log the rows and in the end we just connect close our connection um, I hope it was simple. Um, like I said, I tried to keep it simple. Now, there is two ways of connection. One of them is a simple connection, and the other one is pooled connection. But I just decided to go with simple connection just so that, you know, like I said, to keep things simple here. My, po my goal here is to keep things simple as possible, okay? So, um, yeah. Like I said, I'm not a SQL expert, so um, I'm not, I, I don't know SQL a lot, I just know a couple of things, like creating a table or selecting the whole table, but you know, um, rest is yours, I don't know, um, I don't know SQL a lot, so, which I better learn, but yeah. Um, another thing I want to mention to you guys is, after, so, we have been gaining um, small subscribers, like a couple, um, after we reach to like a couple thousand, um, I do want to start doing live videos, like coding with you guys live, um, you know, creating React native applications or, you know, making something, you know, just, or maybe a Q&A talking with you guys. So, um, as soon as we hit, like, maybe, I don't know, 250, um, I mean, 2,500 subscribers or 2,000, I do want to start making live videos with you guys because I think it'll be great rather than just, you know, making... Uh, videos like this it'll be so much better to engage with you guys you know um, you guys get to ask me questions and we get to build awesome stuff with you so um, just letting you guys know on that okay um, thanks so much for watching and you have a great rest of your day